Hello, everyone. So, I hope this is working again. I'm working with Camera Fi Live again, and it it is great. It works rarely great. Uh, yeah, I see that nobody's watching. <laughs> so I'm talking to myself at the moment. But, yeah, yesterday I told... People need to set this up better because it's hitting the camera if I turn it around and still hitting the camera. Yeah, that's better. But now it's not in shot. Look at that. Yeah, I hope it, it's working. I'm really talking to myself. I should check this on my computer if it's working. I think it's working. Yeah, it's working. But yeah, yesterday I uh, I told everybody in my stream that I picked up a box full of 135 scale tanks. And that's because I went for a, a, a few kits by a, a elderly elderly person. And some uh, some paints he had left, and <laughs> I got a now one or two boxes full of pre-made World War II and post-war era tanks like this uh, Challenger over here. And the guy is not rare and pretty good at painting these. It's all hand painted. And I was really in shock that he just gave away all his tanks to me. Like, just out of nowhere. Like, yeah, I have some kits I already made. Do you want them? So, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, because he was going to throw, it, throw them away. So I was pretty ex excited. And I just said, yes, yeah, yeah, give them to me. He also had a lot more Tamiya paints. I think I have over... Now, I have a few here. And that's a few. I really have five boxes full of Tamiya paints right now. It's crazy what, what the guy just gave away. And I was only there for a... Uh, hobby boss? 116 scale T34. And <laughs> and some paints he had left with that kit, and he had more paints left, and he gave all of them away. And plus all his dioramas he had. The dioramas weren't that great; they fell apart in the car, and uh, I pulled off all the vehicles from it, and I just uh, threw them away because they weren't. Great, I think I have a stand from one of the di dioramas here that was left somewhere. But yeah, I, I just throw them away. But this is one of the first things. It's missing some of the side screens at the side. But it's pretty much complete. I think, yeah, this is the side screen that's broken off. It should fit on here. Uh, but that's about it. If you just started watching, I got all of these kits for free by a really nice person that I, I was there to buy a... Uh, that, that just broke off. <laughs> but... Uh, that really was nice enough to give me those because he was going to throw them away because I, he thought that it was not worth anything anymore yeah that's an, uh, a puck 33 80 millimeter gun I think it's, yeah, it's with an iron uh, or cast iron barrel Seriously nicely painted. So, 
said that that broke off. But yeah, can't have everything. It's probably uh, maybe Dragon that made this gun. Okay, some more. Now we go into the box of broken stuff. A Panzer one that I also got in the box. this little part over here before I lose it yeah, it's missing its edge it's probably in the I have a box here with all of these kits yeah it's probably the parts he said that all the parts were there but they were all broken off because the paint dried up so they all fell apart but most of the parts are there <coughs> so yeah that's the pencil one a broken mod or two with more parts with a swastika on the side yeah, that's not really uh, interesting a broken gun a Panzer II upper hull part Broken Ferdinand tank. No, that's all messed up. It's still glued on to the back. With more parts inside. No, come on. with some, by the looks of it, some factory scribbles on there like it just came out of the factory the turret is gone, it's not in this box by the looks of it a broken M16 Tamiya of course with the wheels are here also broken Is it just me or are those guns in reverse? Those guns are glued on the wrong way. I think this one should have this position. It should not be the other way around so this whole thing is backwards. Or is that just me? Now turn, you damn thing, turn. So for the people that just started watching, I got a um, two boxes full of 130 scale tanks. And I think there are some of them are 138, but the most of them are all 135 scale. This is the uh, M16 from Tamiya. So I'm. Um, I'm going to repaint them all, airbrush them, clean them. Probably you can, some of them have to be uh, put together right because this one is all crooked. There's nothing right about this tank. And it, yeah, like you see, it's just falling apart because of the old glue. <laughs> it's just falling apart all life here at this crappy live stream come on fit together show a bit of decency man but yeah it, it's nicely painted only the decals are falling off and it's falling apart maybe I don't even have to repaint this one you know I have to remove the decals I think don't think I can salvage them with decal softener and only have to clean them up a bit but I, I, if I uh, 
slowly dry brush them and make them some uh, make them better and slowly repaint them I can salvage this one yeah. I'm scared to pick it up <laughs> because it's come to fall apart again uh, a Ford Mud Jeep oh, this one is not broken at all it's in okay better condition than the other one because the other one just was just falling apart I'm really lucky. I I missed uh, Citizen Calgo. I missed your uh, reply. So what tank were you asking asking about? Because I missed it totally. If you probably me in this one, because this was a, this was a Ferdinand. That's a Panzer II, or it was a Panzer II. That's a Mod II. So yeah. Yeah, it's probably salvageable, uh, especially this one. All the parts are there. But yeah. Back to this one. Nagoya says, hello from the USA. Matthias says, hello. Hello, Matthias. Yeah, this is a Ford Mud Jeep. With convoy follows. It's not broken at all. Yeah, I, I, when I touch it, things will fall off, of course. And it's uh, like the other ones, like this antenna. It's going to break. But it's usable for a Vietnam diorama. Welcome, Argentina. So yeah, I can use that. I think there is another one. Yes, another one in here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's a part. And yeah, this is a Jeep with a rocket launcher on. By the looks of it, anti-tank maybe. A rocket propelled grenade. Probably not Vietnam era. Probably later. And this is already broken, see? Oh. Ah, it's just loose. Let's have salvageable. And some parts are probably not glued on right because what the hell is this? That's not supposed to be there. <coughs> Yeah, that's another one in okay condition yeah and now we come to the sad sad parts more sad 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 things an m113 it's a mortar M113. Oh, the, the hatch is in here. So there's the, yeah, only the mortar is gone, but the hatch is still in here. How the hell does this fit? What? How can it close? <coughs> That's not right. Okay. Total PKG painting says about three years ago I gave all my whole stash of modern models, 135 scale tools, paints, and completed models away because I was moving back and forth across America uh, that's really sad yeah that 
Yeah, that was not the case with uh, the old man. He was just tired of his yeah, clutter of scale models and he just wanted to give it away to somebody else. But that's really sad if you have to move. Uh, I, uh, Nagoya, I just got them from somebody. I was there to buy a, uh, a 116 uh, scale T35 of 34, and uh, the guy just gave them away. He said, From yeah, I have a two boxes full of uh, 135 scale models I made, and do you want to have them? And yeah, of course, I said yes. <laughs> Is an engine inside? Some of them you can remove this whole top bit, but I think that's glued. Yeah, that's glued. I think this is one is Tamiya. Yeah, it's Tamiya. It says on the bottom. But it's falling apart in my hands. There's a bit. There's the hatch. So yeah, I think it, it also needs a flap right in the front here that's missing probably in the box yeah, okay you go there I have some more guns a howitzer M1 A2? is this an M1 A2? I have no idea it's not really painted or something I have no idea it's just made without any paint and that's it. By the looks of it, this is an Italiri one. So yeah. I think it's a trumpeter one. I have no idea. It also can be the uh, Hobby Boys one. Of 116 scale T34. Certainly, everything is glued in place with this gun, so there is no uh, way I can uh, place it in a different uh, position or I need to break it apart. Oh, here's the card for the uh, for the Jeep. Only this snapped off the tow hook. Some boxes inside. Uh, that's salvageable. A half made 25 pounder. I'm not going you thought that pre made meant that the company made it and sold it. Uh, there are companies that do that. Uh, Tamiya has uh, models like that. But uh, I g <laughs> this I just got from somebody. A really nice old man. I'm just lucky that he just gave it away. Because if I was a week later, he would throw them away in the trash. Here's a flock 30. Six, another broken flock. It's again falling apart in my hands. It's missing its gun. It's dirty, grimy, full of hair, and another part snapped off. Ah, that's nasty. Flock 36. It's, oh, it's just stuck. I thought it was glued on. And this is just loose. I can probably take it off. It's not glued at all. And the wheel. Oh, the wheel is here. And that's not the wheel because that's a snapped off wheel. So that's that's probably from something else. And here's the carrier for that broken off fuck feeling. And a Kulash Kanone with the card also totally destroyed. Hmm. 
nicely built by the looks of it but that colors canon is destroyed another flock also totally destroyed so yeah <laughs> that's sad here's the uh, front shield for the 25 pounder One seventy-two. This is the staff car from Adolf Hitler, one of his staff cars. Hello, Andre. Uh, dude, I'm not going to pronounce your name because that's not going to end well. <laughs> oh my lord. I'm getting seasick every, even looking at that name. Yeah, a lot of parts in here, so, like this. And this, that's probably from the tour from the Ferdinand over there. Yeah, I'm going to place these back in the box. And I'm going to look at the other box. Uh, there's a lot of parts in here. Figures three, some smaller figures, it's probably from that staff car, a launch pad from a rocket or something, a 50 cal, a lot of stuff in here. Hi, Model Bau Einhorn. Okay, M16, you go back in the box. That's the Jeep. Also back in the box. The other one back in the box. That's the broken. What in the world even is this thing? Oh, that's the wheel. That's from this. <laughs> it's a small German howitzer. I know that, but... What type of howitzer is this? 7 that the gun is missing, it's not in this box, but yeah. Flock, fe flock, flock feeling. Destroy it. Patch 2, back in the box. Okay, on to the next box, right over here. And this one really looks interesting. I see a Stuk pe Pencil 4 or Stuk 4. Yeah, that's a ME1 six, uh, 36. Yeah, that's, a, that's the jet plane. At least what's left of it. Yeah, indeed. That uh, the yeah, total painting says that I can make a diorama of a German uh, collection dump of World War Two vehicles. That's precisely what I was going to do with this lot. But yeah, that was a German jet plane this, in this part. Yeah, M M M E two six two. Yeah. My grandfather worked in the bunkers for the M E six two six two. He was captured by the Germans and he was uh, sent, first he was sent to Berlin, then to Hamburg, when Berlin got uh, bombed to shit, they had to move. And then he was uh, sent to one of those uh, ME262 uh, bunkers. And uh, the Germans... Germans helped him get away from the uh, Russians when the Russians came. But this is a uh, Stuk 4. At least what's left of it. Now, well, only the skirts are gone. And it's pretty much in an okay state. 
nicely painted and there's a hole in the bottom i have no idea Ooh, that was the camera everything is going wrong yeah that's a hole why the hell is a hole there okay that's new to me okay that's a nice one i can work with that one and another half track a mortar one this time also again not painted I have no idea why some of them are painted and some of them are not painted but this one is totally destroyed the front armor plate is here he did he certainly did some nice work but it's not really consistent some of them is painted, some of them is not, some of them is hand painted and some of them is airbrushed. It's probably this one is a is one that is an older one and when he got an airbrush he got better by the looks of it. Yeah, that's the front window. But the rest is gone. At least this one is not falling apart like the other one. Uh, let's look, look, see. Here's the other part of the M262. What's left of it? Yeah, I'm. I think I'm going to go throw this in the trash. That's totally destroyed. A car. I don't really give a rat's ass about, so that's going in the trash as well. Yeah, indeed, I got someone's life's, life's work. Yeah. I, I was at a model show and I, and my uh, son was selling his dad's airplane collection there. And that was pretty sad as well because it was all of his life's work. Uh, that's one destroyed half track I got here. Yeah, that ha has seen better days. It was complete in the box, and when I pulled it out, it just broke apart. Probably because the wheels are loose. That's a problem with Tamiya models. They're made so people can move them, and if you move them yourself, they just fall apart. Because they don't glue the wheels together. Uh, it's a armored shield from the fuck feeling again. So that's in this box. And yeah, the tracks are here, in here too. Let's see other one. It just goes here. Yeah. Get in there. So on the armored shield is missing a door. Oh, it's possible. I'm going to uh, restore this one and all the other vehicles. I'm not going to restore the old crappy ass car. That's a no-go. And maybe not the plane, but most of it I'm going to restore and most of it I'm going to use as wrecked vehicles on Dioramas. This is the really old Tamiya one. You can see on the logo. Yeah, I think I have to dip this one in in some oven cleaner to get all the paint off because it's really laying really thick on there. Okay, next one. Lop. It's one of those uh, desert type vehicles. I have no idea what to call what 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 they are called. Somebody knows in the on the live stream, place it in the comments below because I have no idea. And there goes the figure. Yeah, 
He's dead. Some other parts. Indeed, it is. This is a lot of the diorama deers go go flying by. There's so much so much potential right here. Hey, another mud jeep. At least what's left of it. Now I I have all the types now. Weird that this one is falling apart and the other ones were just perfect and had no problems at all. I like the camo sh the camo job on this one as well. It has some weathering on it. Yeah, indeed, that this one is British and it's from North North Africa. But I have no idea what it's what's called what bleh, what's it called. Probably a Morse. Hey, it's a panther to wear it. Where's the panther? It's not in here. That's a panther. That's a really old Tamiya one as well. I had this when I was a kid. That's one that's yeah, overscaled. It shouldn't be this big in 135 scale because the Tamiya ones were motorized and they were uh, because they had a motor inside they were overscaled so maybe there were 136 or maybe even 137 in real life oh yeah it's a Penton ah it's glued that's a bummer Oh, no, it's not glued. It's missing some parts, like here. Yeah, that's probably from the uh, desert one, the British desert vehicle. Yeah, mine too, the Panther is my favorite. Uh, this one is... Uh, will go nicely on a uh, Vietnam diorama yeah it's an M60 M60 pattern that's a nice one I'm happy with that one yeah it's a Hatcher <laughs> What did I broke off, break off? Oh, it's falling apart again. Just pick pick them up and it's just falling apart in your hands. Yeah, that's... Zoom in, you bastard. It's nicely done, not great, but camera has some zooming troubles with it. Yeah, tracks, there were tracks on there that's broken off. The the exhaust is broken off. So yeah, zoom out. Get it. So yeah, all these skirts are broken off. Well, mud flap skirts and it's not really skirts. And where are these uh, seen as skirts? And I have no idea. I think they're just mud flaps. But yeah, I really want to throw it in there. But <laughs> if I can't get the top off, I can't get the part out anymore. So we'll just place them on here. You go there. Yes, this is a nice one. Bomb. Yeah, the the hatcher had battle ja damage under this one. I like. I'm not really into modern armor, but yeah. This is Bradley. 
it's only missing his armor door. And some other parts that no, that this is on the half track. It's broken off. Oh, the, the missile launcher just decides to fall off. I can do some nice things with this. Everything is movable. This, this hatch is also movable. Uh, this one also should be movable. It's yeah, it's a Bradley, yeah. Hey. That's all everything is movable. Ah, uh, this is Tamiya. <laughs> no doubt about it. The quality is just It's a beast, a beast of quality. That's a nice one. I'm running out of space. <laughs> There's so much in this box. Oh, it's a Greyhound and it's falling apart again. You only have to touch them. It just falls apart in your hands because of the old glue. Gun mantle is, mantle it is missing. And that, it's pretty easy to work with if it just falls apart in your hands. So you can just take all the parts and remove all the paint and then stick it all together again. That's an inside. Ah, this, this is the ja Tamiya one, no doubt about it. Ah, the World War II is busy painting an M36 Jackson. That's nice, man. M36 Jackson from which company? Italiri? And we got an M10 with all his wheels missing. And some stuff, a lot of stuff inside. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta hurry up. Or this stream will go on too long. And this is the ammo box carriage thing for the uh, for the twenty five pounder. Another jeep. Only this time it's a World War Two one, a really old one. Oh my god! I never seen deagles. This old and being this deformed. Look at that. They're, they're sort of dissolving or something. It's really weird. They're all yellow. <laughs> it's a really old one, this one. It's probably from the made in the 70s. It's totally destroyed. Eh. Yeah. Oh, I got a, a really big one. Get some parts on it. Parts on the uh, Penton tank. Okay, the uh, M36 is from uh, Armored Fighting Vehicle. Uh, AV Club, but Armored Fighting Vehicle Club. <laughs> it's always what I call it. Yeah, this is a uh, 252, SU-252. I like how the uh, tracks are uh, hanging. That's nicely done. But it's totally destroyed, it's missing a lot of parts. Or is that supposed to be this way? I think it's supposed to be this way, but there is a ring here. 
from uh, one of the uh, yeah, it's 152, yeah, not 2552, 152. And this is nicely done, only it's totally destroyed. Okay. You go back in the box. Another half track again. The tummy you want with all the figures. So totally destroyed. These things just fall apart at the seams. They're just too brittle. Just snaps off. That's sad. And a part of a plane again. Totally destroyed plane. Okay, next one. Some of them will go back in the box. Really need to sort this stuff out. Now we get to the big stuff. <laughs> it doesn't even fit on the camera. It's the Moser Carl from Dragon. This kit is immensely expensive. And the stupid thing is, it just looks like a toy. It doesn't even look like a scale model. That's extremely huge. That's what she said. It really, it just looks like a, a toy. It doesn't even look like a scale model. Everything crap. Everything is so bulky. Yeah, it's the self-propelled gun. No. It's falling apart again. But just like the others. I wonder what the guy, uh, what he used for glue. It, it, this is what I mean, it just looks like a toy. A cheap, crappy toy. Look at that cannon breach. It, it doesn't look convincing at all. It's just a hole. It has no detail at all. And I know that it's the dragon one because it got all the uh, PA uh, parts here on top of everything. So it's the dragon. It's the dragon thing here. All the PA stuff is on top of there. Yeah, the railroad gun. I have the railroad gun as well. Zoom out. Bloody. Oh, that's so annoying how this camera zooms out. The paint job is okay, uh, it, yeah, it is, has a lot of dust on it, but it, it doesn't look convincing at all. It has some yeah, how do you call it? Uh, I, I <laughs> yeah, it, no. Uh, if I bought this for 250 euros, I would be really disappointed at the, the immense detail on it. It really just looks like a cheap toy. No. 
Another tiger. With a lot of parts missing. Missing a wheel. Missing the same wheel on the other side. Don't know what's up with that, but yeah. It's probably from Tamiya. Yeah, it's from Tamiya. It's one of the newer ones. It has the engine in there. So that's a nice one. Indeed, uh, some washes and some wettering, and it will uh, look a lot better than it is now. A crappy plane needs to get out of here. Place this one here. Okay, another one is a Pencil 4. With all of his wheels missing. Like I said, Tamiya once had these removable wheels and everybody didn't glue the, these wheels on there because it said so in the uh, instructions because back in the day all these vehicles were motorized. So nobody glued these wheels on and all these wheels were lost when they uh, got stored. And the same as with this one. Hey, this is a Simmerit one. And this is not the Mio. No, this is not the Mio. Or oh, it's a new one from the Mio. Look at the Simmerit under. This is a nice one. I like this one. There's some potential in this one. It's not totally destroyed. Don't have to. Uh, is the hatch the commander's uh, cupola hatch yeah you can do something with this one you don't have to uh, scrap it as a uh, as one that is uh, totally destroyed on a diorama or something you can even see the zimmeret has parts that are missing here on the bottom half that's a really nice one i wonder what for what the maker uh, of this one is probably dragon or something or italiri i have no idea go back in the box and it's another stook and stook four or now stu more likely in winter camo it's probably dragon uh, yeah okay that's a nice one I I'm touching it again and it falls apart do not touch yeah here is the uh, the panther body It's complete now and it's the Tamiya one yeah the really old Tamiya one with the not amused face on the bottom this is for the engines here would uh, the the drive uh, would be here and it would be powered by these wheels now, same thing here long rod and this was the wheel that powered it of course this was the engine here were the batteries and that that's what it it's pretty much it and that's why the uh, body is uh, elongated and out of scale almost a centimeter out of scale I think uh, I have a normal panther around here from a different company that's on scale if I can find it no, it's I don't see it as fast, but yeah, it's out of scale a lot.
it's nicely painted nice weathering on it but yeah it's the uh, the crappy time Tamiya version so yeah it's out of scale and not that great it's a vlog now I already see this one because I pulled it off a diorama Also nicely painted, maybe a bit too little, uh, too light grey for me, but it's okay. Okay, next one. Oh, I'm pulling everything with me. Another box, I think. Yeah. The last box. The last box of goodies. Oh, now, second to last. That's a Chevy. I got these from uh, another person. Okay, let's to keep the tracks together. <laughs> it's just tape. It's nicely one. Probably Italy. It's not the Tamiya one. And the parts are already flying off here. That's a nice one. Again, a stew. Looks pretty decent. This is not Tamiya. Now, this is Dragon by the looks of it. There's a lot of PA parts all falling off and the tracks are coming loose also. Yeah. Yeah. Another Pensa 4 with a lot of weird decals on them. Why <laughs> would the Wehrmacht emblem be here? <laughs> what the hell? And, and these. Yeah, I have no idea. So many crosses. The same thing goes with this. There are a lot of decals on here. Unnecessary decals. Oh, these are not my models. I got these, Jeremy, for free. I went to buy a model kit and the guy just said, uh, hey, do you want to have a box full of all the model kits I made because I'm going to throw them away? Ah, of course I said yes. And I got five boxes full of dioramas and pre-made model kits like this a German NASCAR yeah you have to you have to have that promotion <laughs> that's an uh, that's a good one this one is nicely made I, lo I like this one only the barrel is not uh, it's in recoil position. I have no idea why it's in recoil position, but yeah. That's not supposed to be there. Dunk, dunk. That poor guy is getting a headache. <laughs> and another one. Yeah, 
It's a German open blitz maltier. With a flock on top of it. If you don't know what maltier means in German, it's me it's the meaning for donkey. Donkey Yes, that's a nice boulder. Every time I hear donkey or maltier I'm thinking of Shrek. Yes, that's a nice boulder. Oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> that's so not the way you should place that there. But okay. It's a flock, the Mach version. Flock 36. Yeah, indeed, the open blitz was desert camo, yeah. Yeah, or just normal, uh, normal uh, German camouflage. Okay, that's that box. More stuff. More stuff. It's huge. It's LVT. I think, yeah. yeah. Well, it looks like a French or Italian LVT, but it has American stars on it. So, yeah. Okay, Jeremy. Oh, that's that's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than they uh, have throw that they uh, throw it away. They just can give it to you if you uh, if they don't feel like building it anymore or finishing it or yeah. A lot of people they uh, place it on their uh, sites like Craigslist. And then they uh, ask ridiculous prices for a uh, mate model. Because if you if you sell a model that's already made and it's in condition like this, it's not even worth something anymore. Maybe two euros, two dollar. Yeah, it's specific. Uh, now they were used in Europe also. The Canadians used them a lot in Holland. So there are there is a monument here close to the uh, Belgian border, and uh, there's an LVT there that was found in the uh, in the river. Yeah, we have a Matilda. Yeah. Go. Bum. It's a Matilda. Desert Warfare again. The paint is really odd on this one. Like it is was melted off or something. Or something just uh, somebody cut his finger and <laughs> just thought, oh that blood. Yeah, that's camo. I always love the look of the Matilda. It's not really well glued together. And this is a Duff Dutch armored uh, vehicle personnel ca carrier. <coughs> Excuse me. All white, of course, because of the UN. Probably in Bosnia, was this in the Bosnian War? Ow. Okay, this is the last box. It's a duck. 
least was left of the dock. Here are the wheels. <laughs> it's a human vehicle trash it. <laughs> I will give it a honorary fire. Probably not going to build or do something with that uh, with that Duff vehicle because uh, yeah, I'm not really into uh, modern vehicles. Uh, this duck really has uh, seen better days. And now I know where that uh, M1 goes. Oh. Oh. Come here, M1. Yeah, it's the Italy M1. I knew it. Bam. At least I think it goes here. It must go here, yeah. It goes here. It's the dock with the M1 on top of it. If World of Tanks sees this, they will make it a new RD. If they don't already have one in their game. I totally destroyed brain carrier. So for the people that just tuned in, I got all these models for free. There are four boxes full of tank models. Yeah, that's not assembled right either. Because the gun mantlet should go the other way around. That's why there is a huge gap there. Yeah, this is a tummy yet tiger. Yeah. Again with the holes in the bottom, like all the tummy ones. This is also also a runner. But it, it was a runner in the older kit versions. And here's the next one. It's a Churchill. Missing a lot of parts, but they're all inside the tank. It's missing exhaust points on the side, it miss, it's missing some hatches. This is also the older Taimiya one. Oh, you can do something really nice with this one. <laughs> Kelly's here is diorama. Yeah, you, you could do uh, something like that yeah, with that one. It also really looks like the uh, Kelly's of Heroes Tiger. Uh, Trust Sherman. Okay, Jeremy. So, did you uh, get all those uh, vehicles, and were they, uh, yeah, at least worth something, and not dressed like some of these are? Uh, yeah, it's a Sherman, but it's not really uh, complete anymore. Yeah, a lot of the parts are inside again, like the other one. I thought it said ass mule, but it said ass on mule. Ass on mule, yeah. Okay, ass mule. Probably Tamiya. Or no, 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 no. This is Italy, I think. Maybe. And another one. Two Shermans.
bump with these snow tracks again all the uh, decals are just falling off this is probably Tamiya by the looks of it I bet a lot of bulge indeed yeah yeah with the duck bill tracks yeah indeed Oh, I bumped the camera again. Okay. Another Panzer of Panzer IV Stuck version. With the up armored. Yeah. There was already uh, the concrete uh, slabs on the front. They did that, or uh, some of them. I wonder what kit provides these concrete slabs on it. It's trashed, of course, like the uh, like many others, but yeah. it's missing. It's gone. There's a huge gap here. That's not supposed to be uh, like that. That's Tamiya, I think, because it has the holes in the bottom again. Oh, that's sad, man. Yeah. If you don't have the room. It's another M113. It's also the Tommy version. This one can be opened. Pop. Your old engine inside there, on patent. Really old, because all the uh, decals are uh, are yellowed. I can do something with this one. It's a bit trashed, but yeah. Yeah, come up, go. Last ones. Two Soviet tanks. T fifty five by the looks of it again Tamiya by the holes in the bottom. One of the uh, things snapped off. Must be another one as well. Is it the T62? I have no idea because I'm not really not knowledgeable about these post war Russian tanks. I think this is a T55. This is a T55 and this is the T72 with a lot of dust on it. Tracks are uh, breaking off. Again, I'm touching it and it falls apart in my hands. There's a nice deal to detailed bottom. I always like the look of this thing. It looks so uh, futuristic. It's really a nice one. Okay, the last few. Yep. So, the last two. 
one Russian Sherman is it the T-72? I have no idea I can't tell them apart a T-34 with those Tamiya, the Tamiya figure kits on them. I had a were built uh, for that reason, yeah, indeed. The BT, that's one that was built for nuclear fallout. This one. That was really built for nuclear fallout. So yeah, that's a nice T-34 Italiri. I have the same one in my uh, collection with the Tamiya figures on there. I don't even think they uh, sell these uh, figures anymore from Tamiya. It's really one of my favorite uh, Russian uh, figure sets they had, but uh, they don't sell them anymore. Just looks awesome with all the figures on top. Another Russian one. 76 Sherman. Of course, Russian. Of course not painted, so I can just paint over it. Need to remove the decal, but that's everything. Probably can just make it American one if I want. Okay, this this they still sell that uh, Tamiya Tamiya kit. I I've never seen it in stores here anymore. So yeah. And this is the BT, I think, it, the, at least I think it is a BT. But this one was one of the tanks that was made uh, to withstand nuclear fallout. So yeah. Say goodbye, BT. So yeah, that was everything, I think. Yep. That that was all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Hello, British modeler. Modeler. Hey man, you just missed it. <laughs> Yeah, indeed, it's the Land Lease uh, Sherman. Yeah. It's the Land Lease uh, Sherman version. They had a, uh, a different motor inside them, a diesel, I think. They called them M4A2s because the two, bef because they had a different engine than the normal versions. I have a normal version uh, Sherman. Uh, over there, they call them from Italiri. That's the same kit as this one. That's there. That kit. Except that's the American version. It's the A3. Yeah, it's a BTR. Yeah, yeah, indeed, uh, Berser. Yeah, it's the BTR version. BT BTR. But yeah, I'm. Uh, that was all of it. I'm running out of battery, and I've been streaming for almost an hour now. So and yeah, a lot of people are logging in now. I see. <laughs> I 
a lot of more people. Hi, Jonas. But if you guys have some more questions before I uh, log off, you can uh, ask him now. If not, I'm going to see you in my next stream. Indeed, uh, the Russians were given a lot of uh, American uh, tanks and uh, half tracks and at the beginning of the war. They had Emdre Lees, they had Matildas, they had Churchill tanks. They had a lot of stuff. Got something else I bought a few days ago. That I'm going to show you. And you can ask me some questions if you want. But then I'm going to log off. It's the Toyota model AB Phantom. So yeah, this is the, uh, the Japanese staff car. I think it's a year old now from Tamiya. But yeah, this is a nice kit going to build it maybe uh, in a few months I have another uh, build I need to finish my baldock and my uh, and I have a Chiha video uh, planned the new Chiha from Dragon so, yeah but I'm looking forward to building this I never did any cars so I'm pretty uh, excited to do some uh, some chrome work on the on this car and I have no idea what to do with the uh, with the color of this uh, of this vehicle the yeah, pretty pretty interesting vehicle it was the first uh, production uh, car of Japan of course for civilians but they uh, used them only in the army and I think only one civilian got a car but me yeah. But yeah, everybody have a great day. I don't see any questions. So uh, yeah, we'll, I will see you later in my next stream. Ah, yeah. One question from Jeremy. Do you know what the tank, the 24 Panzer Division used during the war at Veronese? I have no idea. Panzer Drees, Panzer Fours, those were used widely, but that's about uh, that's about it. <laughs> Do you know, Jeremy? Do you know what they used in the Veronese battle? I really like this vlog. <laughs> And the 88, of course. This is a nice one. I will do a video of my uh, scale model collection, yes. Maybe in a few months. I have so much stuff here I need to clean up. So, yeah. So I think that's all the questions you guys have. So I will see you uh, guys uh, in my next video then. Have a great day. Have a happy new year. Or have a great day. Good evening and good night. Wherever you are. Or good morning even. Happy New Year, Askenlon. I will see you later. Goodbye.